feeling. It's just such an addictive sport. The adrenaline that you get is just, it's so hard to describe um, until you really get in the car and get that sensation, that feeling. And you know, it, It's such a challenging sport. Rattling, there's no two ways about it. There's a lot more males in there than females. You know, at the end of the day, we're all there doing the same thing. So I think the most important thing for me is to have the right attitude and, and be just as determined and just as committed. Now I'm very much at the beginning of a, a big learning process to get where I want to be in the sport. For me, to be a driver in the World Rally Championship, to make that my career and to reach the top of the sport, that's, that's my ultimate goal and there's, there's a, lot, a long way to go and a lot of work to do. Twenty-two-year-old Molly Taylor is one of the most promising rally drivers in the world today. This year, along with 23 other aspiring young drivers, she'll be taking part in the World Rally Championship's brand new feeder series. The WRC Academy will be a one-make series with everyone competing in identical Ford Fiesta R2s prepared by M Sport, the organization behind Ford's WRC team. The six-round series, which begins in March, will run as a separate category on WRC rallies and is designed to nurture the next generation of world champions. It's the biggest opportunity for me in my rallying career to date and the concept of having you know, 24 drivers all in the same car at a really cost-effective platform to be able to go and experience world rallies and, and put yourself in that international arena it's a um, fantastic initiative and, and really a good stepping stone and what the sport needs to facilitate young drivers and give them the experience. Born and raised in Australia Molly currently lives in Cumbria in England's northwest. She made the move to the UK in 2009 so that she could further her racing career. She's competed in the British Rally Championship for the last two years and is the reigning British Ladies Rally Champion. At this stage in her career, she combines rallying with a full-time job, although where she works is having a hugely positive impact on her driving abilities. Basically, leave them loose. Right. Molly's currently an employee of M Sport, which is based in Cumbria. To be able to go in to an environment that's the biggest rally team in the world and work there all day and that be my job um, you know it's it's a perfect for me to learn you know how a world team works from the inside out as a result of working at M Sport Molly already possesses a good working knowledge of the car that will be used in the WRC Academy Another bonus of her job is the access that she has to Ford's two leading rally drivers, Mikko Hervonen and Yari Matti Latvala of Finland. M Sport do have, you know, a selection of drivers at, at the top of the world. Um, you know, to Mikko and, and Yari Matti, and to be able to have contact with them and be able to to talk to them and ask some questions or, uh, you know, advice, opinions, or even just you know watch what they do. Um, to be able to get that close to them is is really special and um, you know I know how lucky I am to be in a position to learn from those guys and you know just just even observe and watch what they do. The WRC season gets underway this week. When we met up with Molly recently, Hervonen was busy testing his Ford in preparation for another season in which he'll be trying to dethrone seven-time champ Sebastian Loeb. Sport is run by former rally driver Malcolm Wilson. He's taken a keen interest in Molly's development and has been very impressed by what he's seen. Wilson is one of many in the motorsport world who believe that Molly can go on to emulate the feats of the most successful female rally driver of all. It'd be brilliant for the sport, as you can imagine, if you know if we can have a female again, you know, replicating what Michelle Newton did, uh, because I mean that's you know. Michelle and I competed together, so it's like, what, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago. So, um, you know, there's been nobody really been able to uh, 
sort of emulate what what she did and uh, I think now with the academy the introduction of the academy then it certainly opens the doors for uh, for anybody in the future Michelle Mouton remains the only woman to have won a round of the World Rally Championship, the San Remo Rally in 1981. A year later, she triumphed in Portugal, Greece and Brazil and just missed out on winning the overall championship, finishing second behind Walter Röhl. She really broke down that barrier for me and so I would like to think that I can, I can go out and do the same thing as her and just compete like everyone else and, and be competitive and be on the same playing field but you know she's definitely a, a role model someone I look up to and you know I was very honored to, to have met her and and hopefully you know work with her more in the future. Now 59, Mouton is the current president of the FIA's Women and Motorsport Commission. She's been tasked with encouraging female participation in racing and believes that Molly fully deserves her place in the WRC Academy. She's very excited and we are looking for helping her, trying to do our best to, to, to support uh, all the... Because now once you are in the academy, then the, the difficult times start because you have to prove that you are good. So she will have a lot of work in front of her, but I think she is ready for that. As part of her preparation for her forthcoming season, Molly has made physical fitness one of her main priorities. She's up at five every morning to go running, and then, in the evening, she hits the gym. I mean, they've done lots of studies about the heart rates of rally drivers, and some of the statistics they've come back with are quite incredible. And, um, you know, it's really, it's a sport at the end of the day, and I think it's important to treat it, treat it like, like that and, and be almost training like an athlete. Um, uh, so, for me, it's something that I think is very important, and, um, the rallies themselves will go over three days and you're in the car all day and sometimes in minus 20, sometimes in 40 degrees and you know you really need to be able to maintain 100% concentration during all those elements so to be physically fit is important. Molly has always been actively involved in a whole host of sports. As a girl back in Australia she was a keen horse rider and even competed at national level in eventing. However, when she was 15, she got the rallying bug. Both her parents were actively involved in the motorsport, with her mother being a four-time Australian champion navigator. I mean, I've always grown up around the sport and it's been a huge part of our family and life since you know, I can remember, but um, I didn't really get involved myself until I was you know, late in my teen years. Um, I was always a mad keen horse rider and thought that's what I wanted to do. And you know, as soon as I decided that rallying was what I wanted to pursue. Uh, my family was incredibly supportive. This year promises to be a very important one in the life of Molly Taylor. If she can continue her progression in the sport and make an impact on the academy, then the road to the main World Rally Championship will open up for her. I would like to think I'm very dedicated and very determined and passionate about putting in 100%, um, you know, in saying that. There's, there's still a long way to go, so I, I'm focused on, on what I need to what I need to achieve. Um, and, you know, really stick that it's there's a lot that I've got to put in still, and a lot I've got to learn to to get there.